This is hot off the press, folks. The Grand Prairie School Board has just released to the world that Dezavala is going green. Wow, Jennifer, that sounds exciting. Is that like the Incredible Hulk? Then let's go to our field reporter. Have you been able to figure out how Dezavala is going green? I have, but I think it will be easier for them to explain them themselves. What are some issues you see in our environment? Drought is causing our plants not to grow and plants need water to grow. We can conserve water by turning off the water when we finish brushing our teeth and not letting the grass that much. While diseases can make people very sick and insects, they could destroy farmers' crops and we don't have any food. People throw trash in there, it hurts the fish. They can kill them and the ducks. They think it's food, they can eat it and choke on it. And if people throw oil everywhere, it hurts the fishies and the creatures that are in the water. Hi Annie, what are some issues you see in our environment? Well, one thing, it's very loud, and it can also cause air pollution. Bees, for instance, they collect pollen from one flower, and the pollen falls from one flower to another. And so, if we never had bees, we wouldn't have trees, no plants, like this, actually. Hi, Abby, what are some concerns you see in our environment? They can destroy all of our trees and we could get sick and the animals can come extinct. Factories and cars cause air pollution. So we should always try carpooling and so there's less air pollution and it's healthier for plants and animals. There you have it. The community, staff, parents and students are all eager to take on this new challenge. Back to you Jennifer and McAllister. McAllister, look who just walked into our studio. It's Miss Dazzle from the Shiny Eco Friendly Bus. I just want to commend you for letting the world know that environmental science is not just about digging in the dirt, washing off chicken poop, wading through ponds and dirty rivers. Although those things are wonderful additions, it really is about helping students acquire the 21st century skills. Collaboration, Cooperation, communication, organization, self-direction, and social responsibility with technology. I heard innovative ideas and strategies that make use of teamwork through problem solving and technology. There are so many innovative ideas that make use of teamwork through problem solving and technology. All of the 21st century skills are being taught and utilized. Days of Allah, what a great place for students to learn. That's exactly what I said. Well, gotta run. That eco-friendly bus does a lot of crazy things, but not without me. I'm the one with the sparkle. Thanks for dropping in, Miss Dazzle. It's always nice when you visit. Goodbye. Bye. An elementary environmental science school? Now that's rare, but what a great place for students to learn. I'd say so.